Hi dear students, welcome to R and MDS. The topic in front of you is Biomechanics in Orthonautics Part 2. So previous session we saw about and we mainly focused on basic concept of biomechanics such as center of resistance, what is the force, what is the moment, what is the center of resistance and what are the factors affecting the center of resistance so on and so forth. In this session, we will see about what are the different types of forces are there in orthonautics. So, mainly it can be broadly categorized into following three categories such as continuous force, interrupted force and intermittent force. So, this is very simple concept and very easy to understand and often people tends to get confused between interrupted and intermittent force. So, in this session, we will discuss in detail about these two so that the concept can be understood in very clear manner. Okay, so what is a continuous force? Continuous force is nothing but when we activate an appliance, the fraction amount of original force remains between the appointment intervals. To put in simple terms, for example, if I am having midland diastema, so what orthodontists would do is they will fabricate a finger spring. And when they activate a finger spring, for example, if they are activating finger spring up to 15 grams, again the next appointment would be like after 3 weeks to 4 weeks, okay. So when the patient visits back to orthodontist and when something like fraction of 15 grams, some, something like 3 to 4 grams if it is remaining, then that is called as continuous force. So the key word is the fraction of original force if it remains between the intervals appointment intervals then such force is called as continuous force please focus on this diagram so this is the force and this is the time okay so at the day one of appointment orthodontist will increase the appliance force so what happens force increases then what happens as the day progresses the force level decreases but it never comes to zero. This is a zero point. It never comes to zero. So before that only patient will again visit the orthodontist and again he or she will activate the appliance back thereby this continuous force goes like this. So this concept can be also understood in the image format as well. So please try to understand the concept. Continuous force is nothing but a fraction amount of original force is left between the appointment then such force is called as continuous force. Right. Then we have interrupted force. So this is very easy to understand. Interrupted force is nothing but when the force level declines to zero. Okay, before that, what is the common thing between this interrupted and intermittent force? Here, the force level, force level will drop to zero. Okay, will drop to zero. Unlike continuous force, there won't be any amount of fraction of original force will be remaining between the appointments rather the force level will drop to zero okay then what is the main difference there comes the explanation so in case of interrupted force the force level drops to zero in gradual manner so this is the keyword so please look for keyword if it's if such questions being asked in examinations the force level will drop to zero between the intervals in gradual manner then such appliances will exert interrupted force levels right then what is intermittent so only difference is going to be the force level will drop to zero but abruptly it, the force level will drop to zero abruptly or rapidly so this is the main difference between interrupted and intermittent force levels so just to have a quick recap in continuous force the fraction of original amount of force will be left between the appointments that is called continuous force and interrupted and intermittent force the force level will drop to zero but the difference in interrupted would be the force level will drop to zero in gradual manner and intermittent there will be a abrupt and a rapid decay of force between the intervals so just focus on the graph for interrupted force so on the day one the force level will increase and as the day progresses the force level will gradually drop to zero right after this the patient will visit the orthodontist again again he or she will activate the planes the force level increases again as the day progresses the force level gradually drops to zero so this 
keeps continuing right now focus on the last image so this is the force on the day one when the orthodontist puts an appliance the force level increases to zero again force level drops suddenly to zero again and again it increases so there is a abrupt or rapid decay of force in case of intermittent so let us see some examples how it works so before going to example just to have a quick recap what is continuous intermittent and intermittent in a single slide called order flash so the force level is maintained at some appreciable fraction this is a key word appreciable fraction is a key word and force level decline to zero between activations gradually is the key word and force level declines to zero abruptly is the key word okay this is the main difference now let us go for some examples again uh, most commonly asked questions in examinations for continuous force the first example would be any fixed appliances so for example if i have to take my teeth back we will be putting some force to take the teeth back so what happens is like the force level decays gradually but it never come to zero so before that patient would have visit the orthodontist and he or she will activate the force level back so that the force level is regained so there will be gradual reduction the force but it will never drop to zero but again it will increase so this is the continuous force what is ideal spring any spring which is fabricated in an ideal manner will have gradual decay of the force if in because for orthodontic tooth movement there should be a light continuous force in order to have safe biological system so in case of ideal springs if it is fabricated in ideal and proper manner with mentioned diameter and material of the wire the spring will lose its force in gradual manner so these two are examples of continuous force the same fixed and removable appliance can also be applied for interrupted force for example take an example of z spring if i am having anterior cross bite like this and if i am putting z spring in a parallel aspect and I, and i am activating the z spring what happens the teeth will move little labially once the teeth is moved labially the force level will drop to zero but in a gradual manner so what happens patient has to visit the orthodontic office and it has to be activated back to regain the force so any fixed and removable appliances if the force level drops to zero in a gradual manner then it is called interrupted force then comes to intermittent force which is very important so please look at the first option all patient activated appliances comes under intermittent force okay what are patient activated appliances that means when the appliance activation or appliance wearing and removal if it is under the control of patient all the things will come under intermittent force L let us see some example for example we are having some orthopedic appliances such as headgear and face mask and chin cup okay let us assume an headgear so headgear is given for a patient who are having maxillary prothanatism so what happens the patient wears headgears after he or she comes from the school in the head and they puts the and they connects the elastic to the face bow that time force level will increase up to 250 to 500 grams per side right and the duration of headgear will be 10 to 12 hours per day only okay next morning what the patient does he or she will unhook the headgear from the face bow so what happens force level from 250 to 500 gram is not decreasing like 200 150 100 it just drops abruptly or rapidly from 250 to zero as soon as the patient removes the appliance it just drops the force level drops to zero abruptly or rapidly so headgear or any patient activated appliances one more example let us see Uh, in case of fixed mechanotherapy we will be giving some intermaxillary elastic such as class 2 or class 3 pattern right so when orthodontist puts the puts in the patient's mouth that time the force level will be increased and the patient will be given elastics to his house what he will be advised he will be advised to change in every 24 hours so what happens when the patient removes the elastics the force level drops to zero suddenly or rapidly so all patient activated appliances such as orthopedic appliances and even functional appliances what are functional appliances functional appliances are the one which are used to correct the sagittal position of the mandible such as twin block a functional fractal regulator so on so forth 
So let us assume twin block. So twin block has to be worn for 24 hours, 24, 24 hours per day as per the clock's prescription. Okay. What happens when the patient removes the appliance while eating? So when the patient puts the appliance, he forces the mandible forward and there will be some force exerted on the mandible. So during eating, when the patient feels discomfort and if he or she removes the appliance, what happens? Force level suddenly drops to zero. Okay. So any patient activated appliances will come under the category of intermittent force. So here the clue to be noted is patient activated. And questions can also be asked like in different manner like what type of force will headgear will exert? What type of force will face mask will exert? Please don't get confused. Just see whether such appliances can be worn and removed by the patient. If that is possible, that will invariably fall in the category of intermittent force levels. Okay, let us go to some review questions. All patient activated appliances. Yes, just now we discussed it will come under intermittent force. The type of force exerted by removable functional appliances. What is the removable functional appliances? Removable functional appliances are the one which can be removed by the patient and it can be reinserted by the patient again. So again it is under the control of patient. So any patient activated appliances will come under the category of intermittent forces. If during an application of orthodontic force the level slowly Keyword slowly or gradually. If level declines slowly or gradually to zero between activation, then it is called interrupted force. Right. The type of force exerted by headgear and face mask. What is headgear and face mask? They are nothing but dentofacial orthopedic appliances, which are again patient activated appliances. That means the appliance wearing and removing are under the control of patients. So any patient act activated appliances will come under the category of intermittent forces. So my dear friends, so we discussed about different types of forces in orthodontics. They are continuous, interrupted and intermittent. In case of continuous force, there will be a fraction amount of original force will be left during intervals. In case of interrupted, the force level drops to zero but gradually. In case of intermittent, force level drops to zero but abruptly or rapidly. So I hope this session was very useful and in next session we will see about further aspects of biomechanics such as moment to force ratio and different types of tooth movement as well. Thank you.